Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Lenovo IdeaPad 320. The exact model number is a 320-17 IKB. I'm going to show you how to open it up, get inside to access your RAM in the event that you want to replace it or upgrade it. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip your computer over to access your bottom case screws. Now there's quite a lot of screws here. You have these four on the, on the bottom edge of your screen, these five along the top edge of your screen, this one here near your DVD drive, these three in the middle, and these two here on the right edge. Now after removing all of these screws, you wanna also remove your DVD drive here before attempting to take off your bottom case. So you're gonna have a small flat pry tool. You're gonna to put it right in this seam here. And then you're gonna gently but firmly slide it to the left to remove that DVD drive. Be careful, these are known to pop off and break. So press firmly, but do it slowly. Don't do it so hard uh, where you break this off before the DVD drive has time to slide over. After that, you're gonna take your small flat plastic pry tool. I say plastic because metal tends to scratch your case is more, but you'll take your small flat plastic pry tool, go all the way around the seam of your bottom case and pry it off from the rest of your computer. It may take a while, especially if you're not used to this procedure, uh, but just go slow. Don't put the pry tool too far in to damage things. Keep it on the edge and go nice and slow, but firm. Also be aware right here, guys, you'll see after you remove this DVD drive, what's left is a very thin, very breakable piece of plastic that you're gonna to have to pry off from the, the rest of the computer. So be very careful there that you don't break that. But after you get all your screws off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. As a side point, guys, whenever I work on a computer in my shop, I always have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet go a long way to help you avoid damaging things in your computer when you're working on it. If you need help with any tools or supplies like that for your computer project, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts like your battery, hard drive, RAM, any replacement or upgrade parts for this model computer, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, and I'll have a list of all those tools and parts for the Lenovo IdeaPad 320 17iKB. Also, before touching anything in a computer, I always either remove or at least unplug the main computer battery, which is right down here on the right-hand side of your screen. I actually had a hard time unplugging this without removing the battery. There wasn't a lot of wiggle room here with the wires, and I couldn't get a good grip on that plug. So unfortunately, I had to pull from the wires, which I always say not to do but I didn't have much of a choice. So in this computer, I had to remove the battery. You have a screw here on the bottom left, screw here in the middle top, screw here on the right hand side. And after those screws came up, I was able to pull that out gently of that port. After the battery has been removed or unplugged, we can go deeper into the computer. This is your RAM section right here. RAM is usually held in the same way on computers like this. There's a spring-loaded metal arm on either side of your RAM stick. In this case, on the top and the bottom. The way to get your RAM out is to gently pry those arms away from each other, away from the RAM stick. The RAM stick will release. Most times it'll even pop up a little bit, and then you can pull it out toward the right from this port. To put the RAM back in, you'll notice on your RAM stick you have a long end here and a short end there. So the RAM stick can only plug in one way and you put that in there, you make sure it's nice and flush and then you press down right here in the center and those metal arms will click onto it again, securing it in place. Now, as far as I know for this model, the 17 IKB, the max RAM that this computer is capable of supporting is 16 gigabyte. Now that's not to say if you put too much RAM in, you'll damage your computer, you won't hurt anything, the computer just won't access any RAM higher than 16 gigabytes. So it won't hurt the computer, but you're wasting your money. This RAM is also DDR4-2400. Uh, That's the compatible RAM for this computer. And again, as mentioned before, I'll have some RAM replacement and upgrade 
ideas below in that link that I told you about. So I hope this video was helpful, guys. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those several times a day. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.